Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo the VR. Today I have another VR hardware special for you. I have the NextMind brain computer interface device and uh, this thing you can connect to your head here even with a VR headset and it scans your brain and translate that into a signal so that uh, some VR apps can be controlled uh, via this device. So how you can set up that, uh, how it works, how it looks, I will show you in this video. This is a really cool first look uh, to the upcoming um, brain computer interface stuff from Valve. You, you know they are working on this as well and this is a really cool um, thing to check it out now. You can find everything about VR and AR on this channel. Thanks to my sponsors, Woodgirls VR, Oppermann Events, Peter Wasmeyer, Andy Defelser, VR Ambassador, Virtual Escape and Adams Group. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Okay guys, and here we are. So this is the package that will come when you order that. It's just a small package. It says NextMind Dev Kit. We will not do a big unboxing because there's not much inside. Just this little uh, quick start guide. There's only the link for the software, nothing special. Then we have a USB-C cable to charge it and then uh, the device, yeah. So um, you can also remove the strap if you like, if you want to put it on a strap of a VR headset or just uh, use it without a VR headset then you can just put it here and then it works. It's really cool. Then let's check out the sensors. They have nine sensors here, uh, two, four, six, eight, nine and they uh, are really smooth. They will, uh, they, they are not hard, they are not comfortable. They will um, push on your um, head and uh, the whole thing works with uh, um, that it me measures your brain waves from the visual cortex that sits here on your brain, uh, and that means this this part of your brain is um, uh, for the visual stuff. And these signals, um, the next mind device can um, see or feel, and then translate that into commands so that different apps or software can handle it. And that's really cool. <laughs> that's really cool. So um, the next my device is connected via Bluetooth to your PC or laptop. Very important, there was no Bluetooth adapter. So your laptop or PC needs already Bluetooth or you have to buy a small Bluetooth dongle. After that, you will download the NextMind Manager software and the Service Developer Kit is, uh, the tool is already integrated, so you will download all at once. Then you will start the NextMind Manager software and you will connect it via Bluetooth. And that worked uh, only at the fifth try for me. There were some problems, I don't know, I had to reset it and restart it and whatever, but then it worked. And after that, you have to calibrate that. You will see some dots, all the, uh, the nine sensors, and you have to place it on your head and uh, move it up and down so it uh, goes into your hair. Um, it must not be connected to your hair, but to your skin of your head. So move it a little bit like this so it gets into the hair. And um, then you will see the dots, they have to be green, not red, and that means uh, the signals are recognized correctly. After that, you have to uh, calibrate that and focus on different shapes, and then um, it will calibrate um, the device. And that uh, worked pretty good, to be honest. And after that, you are able to use it, and there are some demos included that uh, uh, we will check out now. Okay guys, and now uh, we calibrated all the stuff here uh, with the calibrate tool. And as you can see here in the corner, all the contacts are green. That means everything is fine. All the contacts on my, on my head here, they are uh, perfect. And uh, the battery is loaded uh, 95%. And now we can uh, check out some demos here. Let's uh, control our TV with our mind. So what we're gonna do is focus on the stuff that's... Oh, you don't see that because I'm... I have to focus on, on this thing here. <laughs> I will do that. Give me a second. 
Yeah. And now uh, I don't want to say what I'm looking to because it could, I don't know, but uh, perhaps it, it's just faking something that I, uh, uh, we are voice controlled. So I will tell you uh, where I look without telling you what I look. So I will look on the symbol from the top. That works. That that really works, and it's crazy. And you can also, of course, clip it on a VR headset. We are very, very interested by using this with AR and VR. But in the future, we actually. Yeah, mute. It's great. It's great. I just looked here and then here, and <laughs> it it really works. So this is no bullshit. Uh, let's come post some music here. I will look on the symbol. <laughs> and now the last one on the third row. The third one. It works. It's great, right? <laughs> let's let's play a game. Let's play a platformer game. So I have to move this guy here with uh, my uh, arrow keys. And now I have to focus on this rock here. Ha! So I just have to focus on stuff so that something happens. So when I focus on the enemies, they will explode. There's another one. Yeah, it works. Uh, the longer I use that, uh, it's, it's getting better. So for my German test, it was not so good and it's getting even better. At least I think so. Come, come on. Yeah, and now the other one. To go up again. Oh shit. It's not it's really hard to to stay focused here. Damn. You have to stay focused and that's not so easy. So guys, this was the platformer game and uh, you can also use a brick breaker, but this didn't work. Uh, let's try it again. This, it's just too slow. The reaction is too slow. It's, it's too slow. And now it's on the right place here. F 
for some reason this game doesn't work for me. I, I tried it uh, and it doesn't work. Too late. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's a pin pad. Now you can uh, generate a pin 4120 and now we have to unlock this. It. Okay, unlocked. <laughs> great, guys. Really great. So, uh, yeah, that are the demos. Here is another showroom. You can uh, learn some stuff about the device. And uh, then we also have uh, SDK discovery for the developers. Yeah, that's the test tools. And it works pretty good. Not, not really perfect. And with a lot of delay or sometimes. Uh, but it works. It works. I didn't expect that, to be honest. Um, so that were the non-VR experiences. Let's now check uh, a, a VR experience, how that works there. Wake up, wake up. This is Colonel Shepard speaking. You are on planet Victoria. The Xenos have captured you during your escape. I'll guide you to the extraction point where we'll pick you up if you're still alive. What's going on? I forgot to turn off the alarm. Well, uh -oh. it's going to be tougher than expected. You must fight back and dodge their energy yeah. blasts. Come, 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 come. Ha <laughs> ha yeah! Come, come, come. Perfect. You can teleport. Hey, guy, this is. Uh oh. Come, 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 come. You. Come. Hmm. Oh. The next teleporter is active. You can move on. The extraction point is not far away. Perfect. No enemies in sight. You can teleport. Blow up the explosive barrel to hit several aliens at once. Hey, 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 hey. 
Okay, guys, next mind. So what I have to tell you is that um, it's, it's, of course, it's not perfect, but I didn't expect that. And to be honest, it works much better than I expected. I think it's just a toy that uh, doesn't really work like much uh, of the other VR accessories or stuff. But this one worked pretty good, to be honest. <laughs> uh, um, some months ago, I tried this other device uh, for the HTC Vive where it scans your head here and that where I had to create a fireball with my mind and that just didn't really work. Uh, it felt random, but this one, it works. The only thing here that I see is that uh, it has a lag. Uh, I mean, if you look somewhere, if you focus, it doesn't work instantly at 90% of uh, tries. Uh, sometimes you have to look there like three seconds or whatever, and then it works. So for really games where you have to react like this pedal game, uh, it, it just doesn't work, at least for me. And um, this is something that they could perhaps work on um, to fix that. But all in all, it's, it's really crazy. I didn't expect that. And um, you can buy it. Uh, for 399 bucks. I think there's also 50 bucks uh, shipping costs. So all in all, it's 450 uh, dollars, but you can order it. And uh, plus, keep in mind uh, that this is a dev kit. It's not for gamers. It will be not compatible with many games, uh, only the demos and some stuff. Um, but if you want to, uh, use it to create your own apps that will work because they it comes with a really cool uh, uh, manual and service development kit and stuff they uh, can explain that to you and it's just amazing and now i think i'm thinking about the future of that will it be implemented in games what can we expect what do you expect write it in the comments below especially when we compare it to the um, to Valve, uh, they are working on the brain computer interface stuff as well. Uh, I think it's called Galea. And uh, I'm really looking forward to what they do and how does it compare to this one that is already available. It's just crazy what, what happens. I, I, I would like to teleport in, uh, to Beam into uh, next five years and see what, what happens there. I'm, I'm so looking forward to that. What do you think? <laughs> I, I'm, I think they are go doing a good uh, thing here. I, I love this device. <laughs> I love the device. And it's not uh, uh, uncomfortable. I think it, it's just uh, really smooth here and uh, no nothing big. Uh, it, it works. And perhaps sometimes it will be integrated into VR headsets uh, uh, from the beginning. And you don't even see or feel that. <laughs> Great. So guys. I hope you liked the video. If you like to support me, just uh, do that via Patreon. One buck per month and you get behind the scenes videos. That would be awesome. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya.